So business event processing is about having the ability to sense when an event or an event pattern has occurred and to be able to um, to take a an action um, as a result of the, of the business situation being identified. So an event is you know one one occurrence. Uh, an event pattern is really more interesting and more important and that when we have multiple events that are occurring that may not seem related, if we can correlate that event to identify a meaningful business situation, then we can actually initiate an action uh, within the infrastructure. We have utility meters, we have toll road transponders, we have parking lot sensors, there's motion uh, the sensors, there's GPS devices. Um, through your mobile phone, you can actually, you know, um, scheduled to have a, a show or a sporting event um, recorded on your DVR. It's just absolutely incredible what we can do today through the connectedness and the number of devices that are on the Internet. So as a result of this, this brings um, us amazing opportunities to run our businesses smarter, to interact with our consumers, customers, and business partners in new ways so that um, we can not only be productive and drive revenue, but we can also cut costs. So the smarter world, our world is becoming flatter and smaller, but at the same time we have to become smarter to really take advantage of that. So if you look at how our world is, you know, so interconnected and the number of devices that exist today, this really enables complex event processing, business event processing, to be used on a broader basis. So all these devices that are out there that are connected to the Internet um, are sources of events that can capture meaningful information. And the fact that we're so interconnected, all this data that is captured from these events can actually be shared, communicated, um, sent to a, a common place where they can be analyzed um, in a business context such that the combination of time, the population, the state, space, or any other activity that's interrelated, um, those things can be taken into consideration so that you can now monitor and detect meaningful business patterns. So business event processing is really about this latter part, the monitoring detection. It adds the intelligence to your infrastructure so that you can take advantage of the instrumentation of the world and the interconnectedness of the world. So Smart Planet, um, the IBM's concept of that is really about thinking and acting in new ways uh, to optimize our systems to be more efficient, more productive, more responsive. When we talk with customers today, most of them are talking about how can you help me reduce cost, um, operational costs. They're not so much interested in pursuing new revenue opportunities, but they want to keep what they have. But they're very focused on tell me how I can utilize my infrastructure to be more efficient, to help my people work smarter. So business event processing is really about um, helping customers take advantage of what they have and to help their, their employees and systems operate more effectively. Healthcare is another um, area where business event processing is, uh, is being utilized. Um, let's take the example of if a patient comes into an emergency room and they're unconscious, and by virtue of their, their name and address, or maybe their social security number um, that they might be found on the person on their wallet, um, you're able to um, find out that the patient has been diagnosed recently with diabetes or he was treated at another hospital recently for diabetes. So as a result of this um, information that's being correlated, you know, the action, action can be to in, ensure that uh, the blood glucose levels are at the proper range and that the proper you know, IV solution is provided to the, to the patient. Um, another hospital quick example has to do with um, you know, working with insurance, working with um, bills. Um, often bills are not right, insurance coverage miscommunicated. So in order for hospitals to, be, um, to get their payments um, as soon as possible and accurate, um, you know, there's all sorts of processes that can be done as far as monitoring the various documents that have to be collected. And by tracking um, these documents, um, you can you know, optimize how your bills are submitted with the proper um, documentation that will ensure that your billing is accurate and therefore the payments um, are returned in a timely fashion. This is a huge area for hospitals as far as resources being drained and wasted because of inefficiencies. And I'm going to start with the uh, more of a business user oriented tool, which is called Design. And I'm going to demonstrate how you would create uh, a rule for uh, using your application and for.
or detecting certain you know event pattern that you could uh, you know process in a certain way. And to do that, uh, I will create an interaction set. I'm going to start with the interaction set because interaction set is basically a rule that allows us to respond to an event. And uh, we're going to, it's, let's assume, a financial application, so we're going to respond to a withdrawal transaction event. And uh, if a withdrawal happens, we might want to send a notification through a notification system. The problem is that with this event, uh, it's going to react to every uh, withdrawal event that is happening. And by the way, since it's a, a contextual rule because it uses an event, let's define the relationship where we will identify events per account IDs. So uh, we really don't want to react to every event. That would be just too overwhelming. What we do want to do is send notifications if uh, it's a large transaction and, for instance, the user had more than 10 transactions in the last uh, five days. So let's say the rule is uh, notify if large transaction and more uh, than five transactions in, uh, in five days. So this is our rule. Now let's uh, create those additional filters that allow us to detect all those transactions. And for that, I'm going to, as name suggests, create a filter. And the filter that I want to create first is that uh, it's a large transaction. For that, um, you see a template for creating a rule. And the easiest way is to select our transaction object and check its amount. As you can see, I'm not really typing much. I'm not doing any coding. I'm just uh, picking things from uh, different fields and menus. But we want to check if transaction amount is greater than, let's say, $10,000. So with that, you see that the business user, uh, him or herself, don't really need to know any programming. All they have to do is uh, be able to point and click. So in closing, um, so our JSTAR team is part of Software Group Emergency Technologies. Uh, we have the mission um, to help customers and business partners um, evaluate and adopt business event processing technologies. So we are more than happy and anxious to work with you to identify um, potential projects that you might have that could benefit from business event processing. Um, we have several offerings um, that we have to expedite your, the use of the technology and your learning curve. So we would welcome um, conversation with you about what your requirements are, um, share with you our experiences, our best practices, um, um, discuss some of the business processes that you might have that might be manual or automated, and to discuss how real-world events that are occurring that are meaningful to you could potentially impact or influence uh, the state of your business.